Hello there and welcome to another spastic tutorial on Blender 2.7. Uh, this uh, In this video we're going to talk about how to uh, create a bezier circle and uh, how to, how to sh uh, form that into a shape that we can then uh, extrude later in another video. So first of all, uh, what I want to do is I want to create a circle that kind of forms the, the shape at the end of this thing here. And I have my 3D cursor there. I'm going to go ahead and in my uh, tool panel over here, I unlock on the create hit this uh, this button right here, it says circle, construct a bezier circle, and it goes in the scene. And, and you can see it's uh, at the wrong angle, so I'm gonna hit uh, rotate, uh, R for rotate, and then X for the x-axis, 90, and it's gonna rotate 90 degrees, hit enter for that. Uh, and now I wanna scale it, and I'm gonna scale it down, so uh, eh, it's about the size of the, I'm looking at my uh, my view in the lower right hand corner now to get it about the about the right diameter. Um, all right, maybe a little bit smaller than that. Okay, that's good, just like that. Uh, now I'm going to bring it down so that the top of the circle is about where my 3D cursor is. Ah. Uh, uh. Actually, I'm looking at the upper uh, right view right now. Get that right there. And uh, all right, now I can go ahead and hit tab, and go into edit mode. And now I have these handles that I can use to manipulate this thing. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna grab the, the lower one and I'm gonna bring it down. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at the screens on the right so I can I can see how far it needs to come down. I've got some lag here, so it's a little difficult. There we go. Let that go there. Now I can come over here and drag it in. Just like so. And bring it up a little bit. Right there. Okay. Um, now I'm going to bring these handles down. And just like this. And I'm going to bring them in a little bit. Just like so. Same thing over here. Now, if you're going to do this uh, for real, um, you'll want to go over here. And look at your transform and try to make sure that your left and your right you know, if you want it to be symmetrical try to make sure that you have the same values over here for your transforms uh, but for the just for the sake of uh, making this quick I'm just going to kind of eyeball it so I'm going to hit shift and select both of these uh, yeah there we go got them both selected and over here I'm going to pull it in there we go just like that and I'm going to adjust this one a little bit too. Uh, bring that down right there. All right. I'm going to bring this back down here then. And bring it in a little bit. Just like that. Same thing with this one. A little bit. All right, close enough. Okay, so I have this shape and I can't extrude this right now. If I try to extrude it, just weird things are gonna happen. Um, it's, not, it's not a shape, really. It's not a, uh, it's a let's say it's not a mesh right now. I, um, to turn it into mess, mesh, first of all, let's uh, I'll just switch back to object mode by hitting tab. And so you can see it there. And I just hit, uh, to convert it into a mesh, I'm just going to hit uh, Alt-C. And Alt-C, I get a couple different options. And what I want to do is a mesh from curve. I hit that, and it doesn't look like anything happened. But if I go ahead and I hit tab again, turn edit mode, it turned it into uh, a... Uh, 
uh, at least a series of vertices. It's not yet a face. Um, so what I can do though is I can hit uh, my B for box select. I can select all the vertices and then I can hit F for face and it converts into a face. And now I can extrude that face to do uh, however what I, what I want to do here. So I'm just going to hit E for extrude. Whoa, wrong view. I'm going to hit right click, cancel that. I'm going to go over this screen. I'm going to hit E for extrude. And now I can do this. Just like that. All right. And then I can hit like scale and bring it down like that. And you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, but that's about it, and uh, with this I should be able to then, uh, you know, maybe maybe speed some things up, and and I can refine this a little bit. But that's the, just the basics of uh, how to use a uh, uh, bezier uh, circle, and then uh, to make a kind of a complex shape, and then to uh, turn it into a mesh that we can then extrude. And that's about it. And thanks a lot. And talk again next time.